Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. We're so grateful to see you here and would like to thank you for helping Psych2Go continue our mission to help everyone understand psychology better. Thanks again, we appreciate you. Now, back to the video. Do you have trouble with confidence? It can be difficult sometimes to act confidently, especially when we don't feel like it. Many people lack confidence, and this may be expressed in a multitude of ways, such as through your words, actions, and even your appearance. Therefore, being aware of how you express your lack of confidence may be helpful for you to find ways to improve upon it. So, here are seven signs you may be lacking confidence. Number one, you have poor posture. Did you know that the way you look on the outside often reflects how you feel on the inside? According to a 2009 study from Ohio State University, good posture, such as sitting up straight in your chair, can give you more confidence in your own thoughts. So if you find yourself slouching or shrinking into yourself a lot lately, it may be helpful to remember to straighten yourself up to boost your self-confidence. Number two, you don't go out alone. Are you afraid to run errands alone or to eat alone? Do you find yourself constantly calling on your friends for company when you need to go outside? Fear of being alone or doing things alone may be a sign of lack of confidence. The possibility of other people seeing you or judging you may be heightening your self-consciousness and stopping you from going outside by yourself. Number three, you can't say no. Do you constantly agree when people ask for your help, even when you're really busy? Constantly saying yes to things may be a sign that you lack confidence. As a child, you may be taught to be helpful to others and to always say yes, but it's important to make your mental health a priority and that may mean saying no sometimes. Respecting your own boundaries is an important piece of self-confidence that many people struggle with. Number four, you seek validation from others. You always double check with others or look for their approval. The constant need to look for other people's acceptance to validate your worth is a sign you lack confidence. Your dependency on others can be dangerous since you might end up doing things or saying things you don't mean or want just to please them and to make them like you. Number five, you're indecisive. Do you have trouble choosing between things? Are you the kind of person who freezes when asked to make a decision? While indecision may just look like you're having simple conflicting feelings, it may actually come from having a lack of confidence. When you don't believe in yourself or your intuition, you're not likely to make productive decisions. This might lead to a heavy reliance on others or an inability to recognize your own values. Number six, you don't prioritize self-care. When you lack confidence in self-love, you may not feel as motivated to take care of yourself. Showers become shorter, tidying up happens less frequently, or maybe you're wearing the same shirt for the fifth time this week. Whatever it may be, these changes may happen so slowly that you don't notice the difference in your routine or appearance. Developing healthy habits and prioritizing your self-care can go a long way in giving you more confidence and boosting your self-esteem. And number seven, you isolate yourself. Do you avoid social gatherings or meetups with your friends because you don't feel confident enough? When your lack of self-esteem starts to seriously affect your social life, you may be putting yourself at risk for social and emotional isolation. Good therapy defines social isolation as the absence of social relationships whereas most emotional isolation is the inability or unwillingness to share one's emotions with others. This lack of socialization may come from a fear of rejection, as well as a lack of